Hello, I'm Amy Meyer, and welcome to my first grade classroom. Today, we'll be working with math. Math around our world. We're doing ge geometry, geometric shapes, solid figures. And as we explore math and the world around us, in the world around us, we have some wonderful experiences for the kids. They're working with manipulatives in order to strengthen their understanding about math. We have several stations set up throughout a room where we um, encourage them to make self-regulation and choice as they choose to work as either reviewing their addition math facts, working with subtraction and how numbers work with one another. We are also working with a small group instruction with me at the table and I will help them develop their understanding of the ge geometric figures. So our math journal number is 13. Who can tell me, a, does somebody have a not math number sentence that they think is true? You're tr it is true. You got to believe in yourself. Good job. Why don't you go write that one up on the computer? You can do that. You got that. Keep writing. I'll come around and check. You keep writing and just show me what a nice job you can do. Ready? I love the way that you're showing that equal means the same. Equal means the same on both sides. So if what happens on one side the equal sign needs to happen on the other. Oh, look at the boy. Madison is so engaged in her math. Is this an activity that we can do when we get done with all of these things? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I know some of you are disappointed that you did not get to write your true number sentences on the computer. But it's a self-check. It's a way you can reflect about your own math. Is it true? Do I feel confident about what I'm doing? So, when we get done today with some of our math stations, can you always choose that as an anchor activity? Yes. Yes, you can. You know that. Okay. We have to find out about our math stations that we're going to work on today. One group will be with me. Who can tell me what we've been working on? What have we been working on lately in math? Lucy? Shapes. Shapes. More than shapes. Maria? Um, figures. Solid figures. The rest. Okay, hands down, let's talk about our stations. First, one group is with me, sorting shapes, and that will be our math day today. One group. We'll be starting with the computers with math in a flash. Who can tell me a little bit about math in a flash and the computer program that it works on? Who can kind of tell us how it works? Hunter. You answer math. You answer quick math facts. And then do I write down and record all that, or does the computer do it itself? The computer does it the itself. Computer does what it else itself. is special in a math in the flash? What's special about it? You Boy, I really like the way <gasps> Timothy's sitting quietly here, please. He's, he's, he's in his seat like a big boy that he is. Vincent? Okay. What's special about math in a flash? Erin, are you on the same level as uh, I would be at? No. No, math in a flash works at your own pace for your own individuality. And then I get to print out this stuff and say, oh, we need a little more time in this. And that child, so it's a, so a self-regulating thing. If you wanted to work really, really hard at math in the flash, could you get all the way up to multiplication? Mm -hmm. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Any other questions about math in the flash? Hi, what are you working on? Math in the flash. How does that work? Show me, please. Um, you like click on I'm a student or I'm a teacher and um, after that you do a lot of math and you have to answer the questions. Can you show me what that looks like on the iPad? It's loading. Oh, okay. So then we have fact families. The fact family houses. This is one to practice and record your practice at the fact family house. What do we know about fact families? Maria? They um, use the same numbers. They use the same numbers. It's the two little numbers put together to make one the big, big number. And then it's the reverse. It's the big number broken into two little parts to make the subtraction thing. We also are constructing. What kind of shapes are we making? 3D. That's right. Solid figures. Oh, I don't have the figures here. And then we have one of our absolute favorite stations, which is... This one needs to be at your seat, and you can can you work with partners and teams? Yes. Yeah, you can work with teams and collaborate, but can that person do your work for no. you? No. no. We work it and share ideas. What's this station? Dice roll. What do you do with that? 
Emma. Mommy, you roll the dice and then um, you see um, what um, number you have, have and then you um, put it down and you put something and then you equal it. All right. And those are the stations that we have up here. I also have this one out. It's just for fun if you get done with one of your stations before you're ready to move on. Okay. Let's talk about what's going to happen one more time. Kenny's group. Aaron, Kenny, Gage, and Vincent, you guys are going to start with me at the round table, sorting shapes. So I need Aaron, Kenny, Gage, Vincent, and Timothy to go get this three, the solid figure shapes, and bring them back to the right table. Math and the Flash, I need Jasmine, Kylie, Rory, Emma, and Sarah are going to start with Math and the Flash. Fat Family House, I need Xander, Ava, and Jackson to fix up the Fat Family House. The addition roll. Is Julianne, Hunter, Lucy, Madison, and Maria. And when you get done with that, you move down to the next station and you choose, you need to go to every single station today. Subtract or um, add. And you have a equal something. front of you. <coughs> what can you decide would make the one way you could sort the shapes in front of us? I noticed that you put all the shapes in this bucket. Why did you put all the shapes in that bucket? They rolled. So one way you sorted these shapes already before I even got over here was said, hey, we put all the spheres in one box because these roll. These roll. And so these roll, so you separate in for the ones that roll and the ones that didn't roll. I'm going to walk over there and talk to those guys for just a second, and I want you to come back and sort the shapes in a different way, Timothy. Help them figure out a way to sort them in a different way. Not wrong. Uh, we should do it by shapes. Guys, we should do it by shapes. What do they look like? Okay, this is... I sent my math page and I figured out how to spell silver by looking up there where the shapes are. Okay. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, but when they're hard, they're hard. When they're hard, they're hard. Okay. As you can see, allowing choice may seem to be a little chaotic, but my students were engaged and they were learning, learning at their own level, at their own pace, creating deep understanding of math and how math works. Thank you.